Crystals may look like simple tubes, but the physics inside is fascinating. You'd think that filling a silo with grain would crush the bottom with pressure, but let's do an experiment to test that out. So I've got my silo or a cylinder and a balloon. So if I were to push on the balloon, what happens to it? It starts to flatten out a little bit. If I kept going though, what would happen? It'd probably pop, but let's see what happens when I put the, I guess my grain elevator on top of it. So add some grain. Sweet popping corn. Oh, let's keep going. Okay, whoop, lost one. So it is pushing down, but let's keep going. So you see it's bulging quite a bit, and that's from the pressure of the grain pushing down on it. Oh, 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 super cool, look at that. So, I mean, while it's still pushing down on the balloon, it's not pushing as much as you'd think, um, especially with having twice as many grains on top of it. And that's the surprise. The pressure at the bottom doesn't keep building at the bottom. Wow. The grains rub against each other and push outward against the silo walls. This spreads the force in a phenomenon called the silo effect. Over a century ago, German scientist H.A. Janssen discovered that grain behaves like both a solid and a fluid, pressing down and sideways. That insight changed how silos were designed, making them stronger and safer around the world. 